Wow. Hi guys, welcome. Uh, we're <coughs> I'm Nick. This is Sky. And yes, Miss Swift. And we're from Gay Drug Gamers. Today we're doing this little vlog type thing to just kind of say, <laughs> me and Sky now love paintball. Uh, today, today being um, May fifth, Cinco de Mayo, we uh, went with our one of our teachers to go paintballing for a uh, kind of out of school project where we reenacted D-Day with paintballs. My God, we got <laughs> obliterated. It's, it's, now, not, it's not just any D-Day, Omaha, because let's let's face it. I I, I either wait D-Day. They all push down the things and they all. From, yeah, from my experience, no. on the D-Day. It's like first group went down went down they just got shot off and you just seen them run away and it's just like oh crap I don't want to do this next group comes up and the same thing happens like I really don't want to do this and then we came up and we dropped the gate look the great thing and we just got annihilated and I my back got shot up my arm got shot up legs it, did everything it was just it, it was just I got a, hit in the head and the funny thing is uh picture is going to be right here over Mr. Swift's face of what it looked like a couple hours afterward, but um, what happened was I got hit in the head because the owner of the paintball place was using red paintballs where we thought everyone was going to be using these like white colored ones. Well, after I run off because I got hit and then like got hit five times in the back, um, I bring my hand up to my head and feel that my hair is wet and I'm like oh it's just paint bring it down all red I was sitting there freaking out <laughs> thinking that I was like bleeding from the head but I reassured him that it was just paint and calm, calmed him down a bit. barely barely but yeah honestly uh, my opinions on on paintballing so much fun it's so addicting but it it did sting, but it felt so good afterwards. Okay. But I, it, it may sound like, you know, reenacting it. Oh, that's so easy. All right, let's let's show, let's show them the scenario. All right. You got 12 teachers in two large buildings, like two-story buildings. You got, now this was like really stupid in my opinion, just a group of eight students at a time. Every single person got shot five times or more. And that was before the gate probably even dropped. And th this is a small gate. People have to crouch, and they're still exposed. But it was terrible. Or Absolutely I... terrible. Fun is all hell, but still. Uh, I sucked. Something I wouldn't want to do is go into D-Day. I mean, the teachers teaching about it in school, you're just like, oh, people die, big wolf. But when you're put in that situation and you get shot up by paintballs, and then you think back to all oh, these guys really were in pain, it's just, you, you know, you finally get somewhat about the war and how what these people had to go through, which is, to me, a cool thing, except for being shot up and then running back, getting shot in the back. <laughs> Well, remember, in, in the real war, you wouldn't have been shot in the back because you would have been dead the first exactly, time. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But all in all, it, w it was a fun time. We spent three hours there after the first D-Day D -Day reenactment. We just set, we did a uh, Civil War type paintball where uh, one side would shoot, the other side would shoot, and then you'd take a step closer, and you'd basically go until you wussed out. So there, there was no, like, oh, I'm out. No, you, you, you bit yourself out. Exactly. It's and then after that, we did some scenario and objectives. Uh, our team won every time. Our team yeah. won every time on Capture the Flag because uh, one of the couple of the teachers decided to just drop their guns, run for the objective, and uh, we actually did some good suppressing fire with it. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really nice. See, uh, it, like they said, it was their first time, but I played with a couple of my other friends, so I knew a little bit about it, and I... Uh, through the games we played, I think I got shot like in the team deathmatch and capture. 
maybe once or twice and got myself killed there. But the one I was really angry about was when I was in one of the buildings and one of the people on the other team point blank shot me right here from the window and it hurt a little bit, but I was just like, alright, I'm gonna do the next round. It's you know <laughs> and I just wanna say this honestly out of the the three of us right here, I probably got the worst of it because like I got shot, shot point blank like six or seven times from this group I tried to sneak up on, but my gun was crap because like it went it, fire it, right. That, okay, so why? Okay, this is just this is just a quick question. Why would after you know the first failed shot would you not run back behind cover? Because like I was just standing there like crap. Like as soon as I that first shot failed, they were on me. But uh. By the way, at this point in time right now, pause for like five seconds, we're going to be showing you pictures of my welts because they are the worst. How? <laughs> and uh, all in all, it was a pretty fun experience. Like, <laughs> this summer, uh, I'm hoping that if we can get some cameras and stuff, uh, we go back up there again and do some more paintballing and post a video for you guys about it. Yeah, well, that's a long shot. I eh, something happen. to say to the people who are wanting to go to war and have no clue on what it's gonna be like. It's, it's pure said, hell. It's said, and I'm gonna say it. Go paintballing first. I cannot stress that enough. Go paintballing first because they have it to where the paintball guns are almost the same as the actual gun, but instead of bullets, obviously it's paintballs and it hurts as just as much. And you don't get a second chance. So, so if you're considering going into the army and going out there and fighting for a lot for the United States, thank you, but go out paintballing first. Yeah, well, um, paintball airsoft something that puts fake ammunition in a real life stress situation. So like uh, airsoft, it hurts. Paintball, it hurts. Yes. Airsoft, in my opinion, I think is a little more accurate than airsoft. Well, it, is, it seems more dangerous, too. Airsoft is... Oh, it, you're shooting BBs at each other, like little plastic BBs. I mean, yeah, but still. I'd, I'd much Not rather it. have the, the paintballs, because at least with that, it doesn't have any chance of going through your skin. Well, well it has a chance of breaking it. The BBs don't, either. They don't? They don't. They're not metal. They're just, like, little plastic things, and the airsoft guns don't really have the muzzle velocity to actually uh, break skin. I mean, it hurts. I, I didn't, I didn't but, know, uh, like, the muzzle velocity, how fast they run. Even so, plastic can still go straight through you. Oh, well, yeah, given, but... Given a good opportunity. The muzzle velocity isn't that good. But, all in all, today was a good day, except for the D-Day. Because, <laughs> like I was saying, the whole everyone just, like, going out there, getting shot up, and then running back, and then it's your turn to try moving up. No, no. If, if, and if, you if, get if, shot at, and you're running back, and you can hear, the, see the... I mean, feel the paintballs hitting you in the back and in the legs and everything. You're just wanting to get out of there. And from what uh, I saw from Nick when he uh, walked out there and saw uh, saw the paint, he was really freaked out. He like it was his first time. He didn't know if he got cut open or not. Well, that and the owner. No one said that the owners were going to be using red paint. <laughs> so it really freaked me out. It was a little bit of scare, but again, I did reassure him that it was only pain. Oh, well. Alright, uh, so that should bring this vlog to an end. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll see you later.